Lake in Central Virginia. This one happened while our morning crew was on the air for 12 News Today. Meteorologist Andrew Frieden fielded the reports as they came in. He's here to explain what happened. It was a rough morning, and during our morning newscast here on NBC 12, we were tracking developments here as an earthquake report came in at 601. And this is where it happened. This is Dillwyn, which is way out west in Buckingham County, about as far west as our viewers are. And seven miles away in a little rural community there off uh, Boulevard Road, that's where the epicenter was. Now, the uh, USGS says it was a magnitude 2.6, and that is kind of on the high end of the type that don't tend to do any damage. And in terms of being uh, deep underground, it was a few miles below the surface. And this is it showing up. I showed people this on the air as it was coming in. This is a seismograph near uh, the earthquake that happened a few years ago in Louisa. That seismograph was put into place after that big one. Very clearly that happened right about 6.01 this morning. As of now, we have not re uh, heard any reports of damage, although some folks did say some pictures fell off the walls. Andrew Frieden, NBC 12. Possible mystery boom over Oakville, Ontario, November 7, 2015. Quote, loud boom heard again Saturday morning in Oakville. A second mysterious loud noise was heard in Oakville Saturday morning. Oakville resident Ross Taylor told the Oakville Beaver through an email he heard a loud boom sound at around 6 a.m. In the Dorval Drive and Rebecca Street area, it had a ping sound to it. He wrote, this comes on the heels of a loud boom heard by Glen Abbey resident David Branson two weeks ago on October 27 around 6.15 a.m. The cause of the noise Branson heard remains a mystery. He said it came from the direction of Lake Ontario and was also heard by his wife and her co-worker in the Rebecca Street and Bronte Road area after reporting on the mystery. The Oakville Beaver heard from two other residents who said they also woke up to hear the startling sound that morning. A third resident, Randy Droniak, said he didn't hear the mysterious noise, but he remembers a similar incident about 20 years ago. At the time, he said he lived near Third Line and Lakeshore Road and was barbecuing when he heard the loud boom at first. He said he thought his barbecue had exploded, but when he went outside, he saw others inquiring about the noise. I don't know where the follow-up information originated, but allegedly there are some plates under the lake in this area and the boom was created when the plates suddenly slipped, he wrote in an email to the Beaver in late October, and quote, Keep in mind these mystery booms tend to happen in the same location, but weeks to months between. Possible Mystery Boomer Meteor Explosion Over New Zealand November 9, 2015, quote, was that big boom in the Eastern Cape a meteor strike. The Kuga municipality in the Eastern Cape is investigating rumors that a meteorite struck near the Patton Sea area on Sunday night. A News 24 user and several others described seeing flashes across the sky as well as a loud explosion. We have heard the same rumor, and our emergency services are going out this morning to go and check it out. Municipal spokesperson Laura Lee Randall told News 24 on Monday morning. The fire department did not get any calls on it. Francois Grayling, a Democratic Alliance counselor in the dispatch area, who lives relatively near to Patton C, also heard an explosion. I studied in Potchef's room where the army did bombing practice which had a distinct thumping sound. I was watching a movie with the kids and the wife when I heard what sounded like a bomb going off. It immediately reminded me of the thumping sound, he said. Grayling said he saw nothing of it until he saw people talking on social media about a possible meteorite strike in the area. A News 24 user said on Sunday night, massive explosion. A series of several lightning flashes were observed in Paradise Beach, Jeffreys Bay in a westerly direction at 2100 on the 8th of November, followed by about approximately three minutes later the sound of a massive explosion as though a bomb had gone off, end quote. The light explosion over Alaska November 9th, 2015, quote, crackle and glow. Saskatchewan photographer captures fireball in night sky a huge fireball that crackled and glowed as it streaked across the night sky was captured by a Saskatchewan photographer almost by accident. 
Now Bill Allen's spectacular photo has been viewed and shared thousands of times on social media. Allen lives in the community of Ralph in the province's southeast. He was debating whether to go outside on Sunday night to snap some pictures of the northern lights or go to bed because he had to work early in the morning. He opted to stay up for an hour. And the fireball streaked past in the very first shot he took outside. It's believed the fireball was part of the torrid meteor shower that's expected to peak this week. It was literally the first frame, Alan said Monday. I got out of the truck, set up the cameras, pointed at the Big Dipper and bang, it was two seconds into a 15-second exposure. Down it came, Alan recalls watching a bright flash of light cross the sky followed by a crackle with an orange glow. Alan thinks the meteor may have landed, although he has no idea where. Some people who have commented about his photo say they heard a loud boom followed by the ground shaking. It was like lightning flashes in the sky and then a red burning ball of fire. Friends at home in Kelvington, Sask, say it shook houses and made a loud bang, said Tracy Sauer on Facebook. Stan Shattuck, astronomy professor at the University of Saskatchewan, said the fireball is the remnant of a very old comet. Shards of the comet produced the torrid meteor shower, an annual cosmic event but one not normally a good one to observe. You could stay up all night and not see one. What's special about this one? When you do see a meteor, there's higher chance of it being a truly spectacular fireball. Shattuck said a meteor surviving Earth's atmosphere is rare. As it comes through our atmosphere, it gets very, very hot and burns up. There might have been a bit of an explosion as the object was breaking up, so that might have created a loud wave, end quote. Possible mystery boom mistaken for sonic boom November 9, 2015 over Kent, UK This is not the first time a mystery boom has happened in this area. It can be hard to figure out if these are the mystery booms because they seem to intentionally happen around the time military jet her flying in the area, as if these mystery boom are hiding in a coincidence. Now that is not just my excuse to claim this as a mystery booms, as someone who's been in the Air Force. It's my understanding from talking to others and doing my own research that there is no way a fighter jet can cause the ground to shake. It can vibrate within a mile or two, but only at a low altitude under 3,000 feet. Unless there were four jets simultaneously breaking the sound barrier, but you would have heard the jets coming or leaving, and have seen them, quote, sonic boom heard over Mersham, near Ashford. After two jets fly over village, a man dropped to the floor this afternoon after being startled by an extremely loud sound over a Kent village. It is understood that the sonic boom was created by two fighter jets that flew over Mersham, near Ashford, at around 1.45 p.m. Tim Eames had popped home from work for lunch and to let his dogs out when the explosion like sound cracked over his house, in Glebelands. He said the noise scared him so much. He dropped to the floor, Mr. Eames said. It was the loudest noise I've ever heard in my life. The house shook. I thought a 747 had crashed. It was that loud. I dropped to the floor. It was quite scary, end quote. It's strange that the man never said he heard the roaring of the engines, just a single boom, quote. Mr. Eames admitted, however, that his two dogs didn't seem a bit worried. Natalie Lord, general manager at the Farrier's Arms in Church Road, said she was in the pub garden when the she heard the noise. She said, it was two fighter jets. I saw one go past, then another following. It was really loud, end quote. Now does she mean just the roaring of the engines or the boom? It seemed the jet were low enough for her to see, but if they were really low she would have said so. But you can see jets from two miles or more, quote, I've heard a lot of planes in my time. But this was really loud. A sonic boom is the sound associated with the shock waves, created by an object traveling through the air faster than the speed of sound. It can generate enormous amounts of sound energy, sounding much like an explosion. It wasn't just the people of Mersham who heard the noise this afternoon. Residents in parts of Ashford, including Singleton and Park Farm, also reported hearing it. Stacy Louise Smurth said, Well it came over my house in Park Farm, I thought a huge Boeing was going to crash, end quote. 
I will leave a link below to my map of all the places these mystery booms have happened for this year. Possible USN over the UK In November 8, 2015, quote, Police have been looking into mysterious thumping noises plagued Derbyshire village. Mystery still surrounds what was going bump in the night and earlier yesterday morning and keeping residents in a Derbyshire village from sleeping, reports of thumping noises possibly made by loud music, led to speculation by people in Solly that an illegal rave could be taking place in the Solly Lakes or Kegworth areas over Saturday night and yesterday morning. But Leicestershire police have said they have not been able to discover what the disturbance was despite touring the area, Inspector Nigel Banks said. We looked around the areas that were suggested by callers but could find no evidence of any large-scale gathering such as an illegal rave. It may have been a loud party and in which case it would be an issue for the local authority, but thankfully it seemed to stop by lunchtime. We will keep an eye on the situation and would be grateful if anyone can let us know if it happens again. People in Sally took to social networking website Facebook to see if they could solve the mystery of what was causing it. On the spotted Sally page, one person said, Anyone else hear the thudding on the hat and way a state all night and still going on or just me? Another said, Anyone have any idea where the boom? Boom music that can be heard in Sally since the early hours of this morning is coming from